Hey, welcome back. Let's check out what we got. Not too much, but um, some good stuff here. Let's start with the books that I got from eBay right here. This was from one listing. These are uh, four Philip K. Dick titles. We got a nice looking edition, especially since it's in this plastic protective sleeve. Copy of Man in the High Castle. A somewhat valuable book. I can't remember what I, I think I paid 20 something for all these books, maybe close to 30 after shipping and tax. But there was a couple that I didn't have and I have almost everything. And we got here, this is one that I didn't have. It's a uh, Hazel Pierce Starmont Reader's Guide number 12. So it's got a whole bunch. It's just like more of a uh, supplemental kind of book. Like, we'll check out the table of contents here. Chrono chronology. Just like a kind of a summary or biography somewhat. Let's see, and a bibliography in there as well of... Philip K. Dick and his writing, kind of cool for collect, you know, collectors and hardcore fans of the author. And we got one that I haven't found, but I've been wanting to read in the very near future. So I think I will be reading this pretty soon. It's called "What If Our World Is Their Heaven: The Final Conversations of Philip K. Dick." sounded very interesting and another one oddball kind of philip k dick book about the author himself called how to build a perfect android the true story of philip k dick's robotic resurrection pause and read there if you want or there and there so yeah, I think I got a pretty good deal on all of those together. The uh, the Android one and the Man in the High Castle I already have, so there's a chance that I'll probably be trying to resell those and recoup some of the money or all of the money or even more of the money. So, all that. so we got some paperback $1 titles here. Similar theme with all these two stacks of books. They're all Marvel novelizations. These are actually kind of tough to find, so it's an awesome... Uh, deal on these for sure not worth a, a heck of a lot but a little bit they're, they're they are very tough to find they were popular in the 90s this is a fantastic four and silver surfer novel another fantastic four to free atlantis iron man the armor trap gen 13 what's the nether world they're all in pretty decent condition too Generation X, and one we've seen before, Book One, Siege of Mutant Empire trilogy, and also Book Three, Mutant Empire Salvation. And we've also got the Amazing Stanley Presents the Amazing Spider-Man back in. So this is a. This is okay. Let's flip through this really quick. Oh yeah, so it's just a full-on comic. All the other books are actual novels. As you can see. They usually have a picture at the beginning of the uh, chapters, though, from what I remember. Yeah, as it kind of showed there. And, oh, oh, so very similarly, we got the Hulk and Spider-Man in, in a novel. Oh, no, this is an actual novel. Okay. This looks a little bit older, though. Not, I haven't never seen this one before. There's a lot of these, but I've seen most of them many times as far as just in bookstores and and such. Uh, we got we got your Valley of the Lizard. It's a lot of Spider-Man. Goblin's Revenge. Most of these are in really nice condition too. And Carnage in New York. Scratch that off here. Doom's Alley. This is book two. Looks like in a series. Sabotage. Second of an all new trilogy. Okay. It's a team up book. And uh, this is another team up with the Incredible Hulk. 
Doomsday book one. Okay, so there's two different team ups. I could say so. The other, the third book would be another team up, which I guess we don't have. Oh wait, maybe it's this one. No, this one's the Venom Factor. I've seen this one before. All right, and so that's all the uh, Marvel novelizations. But I'm not gonna quite segue a little indirectly out of that. Uh, we got some DC novelizations too. We got Batman. The Riddler's Gambit. These Batman novelizations are pretty popular though. Usually sell pretty quickly. Batman the Ultimate Evil. And one based on the Mask of the Phantasm movie. Might be a direct novelization. I remember seeing this back when it came out. I think in the late 90s. It's pretty good. JLA, Justice League uh, Exterminators. Alright. There, we're all done with the, uh, if you're not into comic books, sorry, but now we're done. Got a few, sci some good sci-fi stuff here. The book of Philip Jose Farmer, his Da Yellow Spine. Okay condition, except for the back, which is quite stained and torn. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Not very good condition, but not too bad of a reading copy there. Jack Vance, The Five Gold Bands, The Biggest Manhunt, Electric History. A few different Jack Vance book. Another Da Yellow Spine. That one's in pretty nice shape. Showboat World. <laughs> a bunch of showboaters, I guess, competing against each other. Showboating their yachts. Yeah, maybe. All Da Yellow Spines here, including The Narrow Land. All pretty decent. This one's in really nice shape. And we got a copy of Doom a Key by Stephen King. Nothing too spectacular. Spine's in really nice shape, though, so it looks like this one's been barely read, maybe, at all. But it's got some bends in the back. Not that it's worth a lot or anything, but I've been really interested in reading this one because I hear a lot of different opinions on it, but mostly positive. There are some people that really, really, really like this book. And... There are a few other Stephen King books, though, that I will get to before this one. That includes 112263, Black House, The Tommy Knockers, and possibly Desperation, along with The Regulators. I'm, this one, though, is uh, up there with all those as far as ones that I want to read next by that author. And we got Dan Simmons, The Song of Kali, for $2.99, oversized paperback, really nice condition. Now this book, kind of getting, feel like I'm being told to, to read this one for some reason. So I'll get around to reading that one in the near future. And we got the Schrodinger's Cat Trilogy. You see the Illuminatus Trilogy often, but not this one. This one's not in very good shape, but for two bucks. Pretty good deal since you don't see it quite as often. And last we got an unusual... I think this one was two. This might have been this might have been one dollar. Um, because of the condition. But okay, this one was definitely one dollar. The Many Worlds of Science Fiction edited by Ben Bova. Ben Bova. Kind of a cool cover. Haven't seen this collection or anthology before. Let's see who we got, you know, as far as the table of contents. Gene Wolfe, Andre Norton, Dixon, Keith Laumer, Anne McCaffrey, Harlan Ellison, Robert Silver. A lot of big names in there, so pretty cool collection. I'll look that up. Could be worth a little something, but probably not too much. So thanks for watching. I hope you got your uh, 2024 reading off to a good start so far. Still early. Get on it. Visit the bookstore if you need some books. Let me know in a message if you want to make a, you know, an offer. I'll be glad to honor it if you're you know coming from the youtube channel so check out the link in the description yeah i got some uh been ha they've left a, a mystery you can hear it in the background a mystery science theater 3000 li uh, live stream just non-stop um marathon they were doing it for christmas then they did it for new year's and of course they did it for thanksgiving before that they decided to just leave it on which is really cool it's kind of hard to turn it off i like to have it on in the background so anyways that's that Happy reading to you, and of course to those about to read this new year, I salute you.